See you guys then. What's up, everyone? It's Vapor from Drake Amar. Now it's time for our episode of Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. Last time, we got some keys and we got the fairy bow, as well as got a lot of block puzzles done. A good portion of Forest Temple done. And in this episode, I'm going to try to be making my mind after unlocking that door. What are we going to do? But you see, the Forest Temple is a bit cleverly made. The uh, Forest Temple has got several puzzles, and one of them is behind this locked door. So, um, here though, there is an interesting solution we can do to um, aid the situation. The solution is, we can go past this room with the green flaming skull. See, there's a locked door here, but, but, remember Ferrari's wind? We can cast Ferrari's wind here to make a shortcut back to this area. It may not make the shortcut directly at this door, but it will make it easier to get into this area, you see? And that will be useful later when we have the key! The key. Now, the key itself, though, is another reason why I'm doing it. The key itself is a distance away. The key is done by solving a room puzzle, which we will be seeing after backtracking. Yes, backtracking is kind of necessary. However, we could have probably avoided backtracking by using even more Ferrari's Wind. But I am ever so slightly rusty at this dungeon, so I kind of forgot that. But Link would have backtracked through this dungeon anyhow. So we're going to be going back through here and going through this nice twisting hallway with the dragons. And we are going to be going up here and getting rid of these uh, bubbles by shielding and attacking them. Because these bubbles can cause annoying problems. So, get the Deku Nuts! The Deku Nuts! And shoot the eye! And then suddenly the room untwists! Anyway, so now that the room has untwisted, we can go down this untwisted room towards a new area. Previously unaccessible to us. And open this chest. And in this chest is... Da 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 da! The boss key! Anyway, with the boss key, we can open the boss door. Now, we're going to be attacking that, that wall master that, uh fell from the ceiling. It's always a shock when all those things grab you, but um, those things, you'll hear them falling down. Now here, I'm going to collect our 20 rupees, and we're going to try to shield off these uh, bubbles. Bubbles are very amusing. They have their, like, um, they do this awesome, uh, like, like, chattering in midair. <laughs> and it's like, oh my god, it's a wall master! Anyway, well, like, it would be funny if there were the two bubbles and it's only, like, oh my god, it's a wall master, and then they pull this up and send it to the beginning of the dungeon, because that's what wall master is. Anyway, I'm gonna jump strike and get this um, Deku stick from that giant plot of doom! And then, suddenly, it's the evil wall master! Anyway, you can use Deku nuts and arrows to slay it, as well as the spin attack. And then, we can get an item! It's in a small chest! Who's to bet? Who's to bet it's a... KEY! <laughs> anyway, so we're going to be going, after getting the small key, back to this room. And with this, you can go back and backtrack up. However, if, we, if I remember, um... We climb up here, but we could just use Ferrari's wind. But this is also a review of the puzzle that we made. As you can see, it makes a concentric staircase. Um, I don't really need to work on Hyrule Warriors, really. I already got the guard and dodge down. I, I just need to do it a little more with Ganon. And that's about it. 
That's pretty much all I do. Maybe a bit with Ganon versus Link and Zelda, but that's the only one I want to improve. I am Sia is not getting a rematch. Anyway, we're going we cast Ferrari's Wind. This is what Ferrari's Wind is. You can return to the warp point, dispel the warp point, or um exit the warp point. Now that we are back in the hallway, fascinating dragon sculptures that are so awesome on the walls. You can go into this rotating room with poison in it. There is a eye of a single magical eye that's covered in ice. Ice. And there is a torch, and you want to get on this rotating platform carousel and then shoot through the fire. Please eye. And cause the hallway to twist. Now. When the hallway is twisted, you can also jump across these platforms, and we we like literally like kind of like sunk into the material itself. It's kind of weird. And we can see these nice floating green bubbles, and we can go into this hole in the ground, into this um, room with this giant platform that falls down. This checkered room, this brown and and white checkered room. Now. There are Skelchulas in here, and you can shoot them with an arrow um, or hookshot, and you want to step on that switch. Now, you want to be aware that the ceiling is going to continually go up and down. The spiders are in a specific pattern. Here, we've got a some arrows, and we're going to want to stay still for a minute because the, the bridge falls down. Once you get the arrows, of course. And then... It's Amy the Poe! And when you shoot Amy the Poe, suddenly a block puzzle falls from the ceiling! Now, you're gonna wanna push these extremely heavy blocks into place. So, this is the most ideal way to do it. You push that block, like, forward there. And then you push this block forward here, and then to the right. I'm saying it from the direction that I'm seeing Link in. So we also push this block forward, and these blocks are very heavy. So you want to plan out what you're going to do. You also do not want to climb up on top of the blocks, because you have a very strict time limit. And you will have barely enough time to push the blocks into place. See, that one's to the right. And you push this other one to the right. It looks forward from here, for, 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 but from the original position, left, from the original position, it's to the right. Now, we see the Amy Zippo, and, and you wait for her to rotate, and then you use the Deku Nut, and then you spin attack, you go nuts, and you use the nuts, and you attack and stab, and then it, it, and then it um, turns invisible, and then you hit it with a shield, and then suddenly jump strike. You can have the insane battle of the Po. Now this battle can go on a lot longer if you don't use Deku Nuts to stun. And now Amy the Po is defeated. Now, if you don't solve the block puzzle, it will rearrange itself. Meaning you have to do the whole puzzle over again in a different configuration. You will have a longer time limit. But every time, it will change each time. It'll give you a longer time limit to a, a certain extent. I'm not exactly sure what extent. To do it. And then it maxes out at I don't know what. Oh, what it maxes out at and then you uh you only have that time to solve the puzzle anyway so now we are going to be going on to Magdapo, the illusionist the master po. anyway so that po turns around the one that turns around is the real po the rest of them are not actually po's they are illusions and she has this nice regal gem and um I don't think I got the real one that time. Like, you see, I don't think I got that. That one! See, she'll fly backwards when you got the real Poe. Um, and uh, she has these very interesting purple torches. There we got Bull's Eye! I'm trying to do it without locking on because it would be interesting. And we're going to get our hook shot out and see. Oh, the Poe's behind us. And we see if we can hit him with a hook shot. Or just with an arrow. And the Poe is defeated! And now that the Poe is defeated, we will be going on to 
the dungeon boss. Actually, not quite yet, but we are still going to be going into the room that precedes the dungeon boss. So, you're going to want to be pushing these giant tabs on the walls. And these giant tabs lead to a specific puzzle that goes in the order white, red, blue, in that order. And that is how you solve this puzzle. There is also arrows and a gold skeletula in the walls as well. You will want to make note of this. You will also want to make note that it's going to be a pain in the butt if you don't go and get your gold skeletulas on a timely basis. So, I've been looking around the ceiling to see if the gold skeletula is there. Gold skeletulas in this game are not only more valuable, because they're, they're, um, there's actually a prize redeemer place for them, they're also easier to get because they are available um, in a easy place to get. So, we can hit this last switch! And then suddenly... Or actually, I'm looking for the gold skeleton. But still, if you hit this last switch, you can open the way to the boss! The boss! Yes, the boss. Anyway. And we're going to be pushing this tabs again. And getting our good and skitchada. Skeletular. I've also been learning Dudley and Rose, and I'm doing a lot of different stuff. Um, it's now the new year, and I will be posting this in the new year. Um, I have many plans for the new year. I also have many Zelda games I'm going to be posting for the new year, especially because this channel is relatively new. I have been doing a lot of different stuff. I have been... I, fi I, fi I finished that other project, as I mentioned previously. So now we're going to be getting Zet's Golden Skeletal. I'll be finishing up my two books. I will be doing other activities as well. And we got a bundle of Edos! And now, next time on Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time, we will be taking on the Dungeon Boss, as well as doing some other stuff.